small town business owners Wyatt and Lance Bush team together to form Craven Customs. A father and son duo scavenging the web along with the Northeast Texas woods in search of rusty relics. While buying and building on a budget, they recreate and preserve hidden patina, giving each one a story of its own. Chasing their passion, they're giving the past a future, saving lost dreams one vehicle at a time. With help from God, these guys are turning rust. Brought to you in part by Maxed Trailers. Every once in a while, we'll receive a potential lead that leads us up to some really cool projects. Uh, that's exactly what happened here with this 1957 Bel Air. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It was fairly local. Uh, she was asking a price of $1,900. Uh, so I knew that we needed to get over there as quick as possible to check it out and see what she had. Uh, once we pulled up and were able to lay eyes on the car, I have to say that I couldn't be happier. Uh, the body seemed to be fairly straight. I mean, it has its dents and dings and missing a few trim pieces here and there. Uh, but all in all, a very solid car. Uh, now, the paint has some issues. You can tell it's been painted quite some time ago. Uh, so it has its flaws from just setting up. Uh, once we popped open the hood, we found out that it actually was a V8 car, and supposedly it was running when they parked it. Now that's been some time back now, so the car's not running currently, but all in all, I think we can get her up and going again. On the inside of the car, it looks to be fairly complete as well. Uh, everything's dirty and dingy from just setting up, but it looks like once a person was to piece everything back together, uh, it would definitely clean up on the inside. So all in all, I'm just really happy we have this car at the shop. At 1900 bucks, I was not gonna leave that house without that car. So now that we got it back, we're just gonna dig into it, see if we can get her up and running and move her down the road. Well, what do you think about her? I think she's still kind of dusty. Think she's got any life left there? <laughs> Surely so. She's not that old. It looks to be pretty complete to me, but hadn't really studied that up a whole lot. I think this thing would have either had a 265 or a 283 in it, but oh, yeah. I ain't familiar enough to know without maybe checking the block numbers and see exactly what it is. Right. But got lots of dirt daubers, don't we? Yeah, dirt dauber factory in here, ain't it? Oh boy. Hopefully they ain't got down in that carburetor. <coughs> no, they tried to though. That's all right, don't it? Yep. I don't want that See, we're missing the belt on the oh, yeah. water pump and generator and all that. All yeah. in all though, see we got the cool wires, nothing's been eaten on none of these wires here anyways. Right. That's these, good. These look good over here except for the Battery oh, cables, yeah. they look kind of... Those are the battery oh, cables? Yeah. Kind of small, ain't they? Yeah. That one there has been patched on anyways. Yeah. Probably got up against a manifold or something. Does that run to the starter or is that the... That's the starter, this here's the ground. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, she said, you know, they drove it out there in that old barn. I don't remember when she, how long ago, but... Uh, you can tell they've been doing a little bit of... <laughs> yeah patchwork here and there. Yeah, they've got it. Kind of looks like that hose may have ran. Yeah, that's what I started to say. They've got it running down there. There's part of the So they probably cable. just had a tank set right there, ran to the fuel pump, huh? Right, yep. Well, check the oil real quick. My old stick's rusty on one side. It's got fluid in it, but I can't really tell what kind of shape it looks to be. Oh, it don't look bad. It ain't new old, but it's definitely ain't, ain't the worst I've seen. I guess let's try to let's try to get started on it. Uh, I don't think them battery cables are anything we want to mess no, with. I don't no. know if we've got any about about three foot or so on them. Eesh. We may have some battery cables that right. we can throw on there, and I can just see those <laughs> right. not carrying the current very well at all. Looks like it's fairly easy to get there and change them. Well, the old linkage sure is sloppy here. I'll go see if we can uh, grab some tools, see if we can get some battery cables on there. See if it'll at least turn over. All Make right. sure it ain't locked up. Get it turning over, then we'll check 
points, make sure we're getting fire to that. I think she'll run. If she oh, was running, right. if she was running for them, she'll run again. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they didn't let it get too hot or anything like that. But you said with it not having that water pump belt on there, you never know. Right. I'll go grab a battery and some cables and you can kind of see what size that looks. Get that off, I okay. reckon. Here's a positive here. Oh yeah, it's plenty long. Looks like about a nine sixteenths down there. We had a, no, a ground. That ground would possibly work, maybe. But let me see if I can find the ground. All ready. Oh, here's a ground. So I don't know if this is. See anything? No hose is dry rod. It sure it? is. I didn't put much pressure on that and it decided to give up, but I think I can get to it from up here without having to get up underneath. Yeah, I can get it. Get it? Yeah. I'll try to take this ground one off here. Yeah, I sprayed it a little bit with some penetrating oil. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what she sounds like. I know when we picked it up, I remember seeing that it had dual exhaust up underneath it, so some old glass packs, I believe. <laughs> I think that was the go-to go to exhaust style back in the day. Kind of crazy though, it ain't, you know, ain't been on the road since I believe it said 85 on the la on the oh, license yeah. plate. <laughs> yeah. So you know she's got to be answering to Hit the streets again. That's right, yep. You should have gave me the hard one. I got the easy one. I'm about done with mine. <laughs> I thought I was. Huh? Yeah, hopefully it's not just spinning in that solenoid. Was it hard to break loose or anything? Or no, just it, turn it, pretty easy? it turned fairly easy, but it's, it's still tight, though. Yeah. Like it's just... Let's just get cut on the, the threads, I think. <laughs> see here, trying to keep it out of the way of the fan. This is long enough it should. I always like to see them run with everything that was there, but sometimes that just doesn't work out. Yeah, we could have tried it with them other cables, but I know it would have Especially if it's going to give us a fight of trying to crank up. Right. Those things would have got hot pretty quick. Well, I just hate those that are finger tight. <laughs> I mean, wrench tight, but not finger loose. Too tight for your hand, too loose for the wrench. Yep. That's what mine always are, seems like. There it goes. We hadn't got the key, key to it yet from her, so... We'll have to jump around on some wiring to, you know, get it to turn over and stuff. So you may kind of look around. I was just fixing to say, I see it. There's a wire right there that I don't know. Yeah, you should, there it comes should be down a wire. Here. Yeah, that runs to that solenoid yeah. there. If that's it, then we can even jump across right there where they've got it stripped back. Yeah, this was semi patched in it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, this one should work. I think they were left over from the old Metro van. Oh, uh, they may not work on here then. <laughs> you uh, check the parts number? Yeah. <laughs> Run that behind that hose. Keep it, keep it out of the way a little better. 
Made it a little long, but. <laughs> Better long, too short. Yeah. I'd kind of like to have that hook, that other end already hooked up to a battery so it would be sparking so I'd know I was doing something. <laughs> Make it interesting. Make it interesting. It's like steel wool or something. That's, I guess that's oh, insulation. just an insulation pad. Try to start moving some of these dirt dauber. Drop one right down in the carburetor. <laughs> Maybe what it needs to make it run real good, put a little grid in it. <laughs> Pretty cool though. I mean, this thing, it's crazy how it's got the power steering built onto the back of the, oh, yeah. the generator here. It's crazy. Apparently it was not a good idea because they switched them. You'd have thought if it was a good idea, that'd still be done like that. Yeah, maybe so. Sure, it sure spins easily too. So this linkage on the carburetor, it may give us fits when we're actually trying to use it inside the car. No water in here, huh? You checked no. it? Yeah, it was dry. No water or antifreeze. <laughs> Which yeah. may have been a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, if it had just straight water in it and sat out there and froze and cracked the block. Oh, that'd be, that'd be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I'll quit talking about that. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think they kind of did what we were gonna kind of try to do here, except a little rougher of a job. They've got stuff wires cut, you know, where we can splice in. They were probably just wanting to move it. We wanted to move it. Yeah. There we go. Got it. Got it. Uh, could you see if that wire? If there's it a wire coming off the solenoid. Yes. Is it going to be this red one here, as far as you can tell? Yep, it's that red one. Well, we ain't got much of a battery tray to hold that battery. <laughs> Try to see if I can catch that lip right there with it. Let me get a battery. Then we're going to need a wire just to jump across to that. See if she turns over. Yeah. They may be long enough. We can set it anywhere for right <laughs> yeah. now. Set it in the trunk. Yeah, let's just set it right up here because okay. I don't think it's going to hold on that All right. battery tray. We're going to have to do some patching on that. Well, we'll reach there. Yeah, it'll reach. Check it, make sure we ain't got nothing crazy going on, sparking around. Good? Good. Let me go grab some wire. See if we got any here. Yeah. I think we can just strip some of this wire back, run it straight across there to the to that wire. It should be long enough. Yeah, the odometer shows like, of course it shows like 36,000, but you don't know if that's 136 or 236 or 36,000. You can strip it with the needle nose instead of the bucky teeth. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where wire strippers are. By the time I find them, I'll have it <laughs> stripped with needle nose. <laughs> that is the wire strippers. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna wrap that. I'm gonna go make sure, see, see if we're in park. Okay. I forgot this door don't open. Yeah. I don't think it went in park, but it's at least in neutral. It looks like. It's one of those where it reverses all the way down at the, oh, at the yeah. other end, so we'll, we'll find out real quick. If it's... 
I guess, uh, I guess let's give it a shot. See if she'll try. And if not, we'll pull the plugs and try to get some fluid down in it, but I bet it'll right. turn over. I'd give you it a ready? Shot. Yeah, go ahead. Nothing, huh? Nothing. And you're sure that's the wire that runs down to the... It goes... Because if that just comes off of that main battery, it's just feeding the, the source. I'll hold that for a second. I'll reach down there and follow it with my hand. I can't hardly really see that. I guess I could always try to do it in there. Oh, it, it's going to the main battery thing there. You get a good connection on it as far as you can tell? Oh, yeah. It's kind of rusty, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to wiggle it and see what we I think I've got it there now. It's worth a try anyways. Let me get my hand out of the way. Try it? Try it. There it is. Yeah. Moving over a little bit, ain't it? I guess I'll go ahead and let it... Everything's out of the way, nothing. There's something close to that crank, though, ain't there? Can you shine that light down there? Oh, it's the... <laughs> Transmission line? Transmission line. Well, it sure is close, ain't it? Yeah, sure. I, it I don't think it's as close as it looks from up here. There, that helped. All right, she's turning over, or at least trying. Ready? Yep. Turn over good. Yep. Yeah, it's turning over oh, really yeah. good. A lot better than I expected. I think it'll crank. We know we got issues though. We've got wiring issues obviously. Right. And I don't know what I don't know what the previous whoever was messing with it, you know, yeah. here and there, but because it's not turning over. Let me go ahead and try it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me try it at the thing, see if it works, but I doubt it will. Ready? Ready. Nope. Nope. Yeah. So well, we do have some kind of wiring issue. Could be yeah, we're going to have some kind of a starter solenoid issue back to that switch. And heck, they may even have a push button in there somewhere. True. Yep. But at least now we know we can turn it over up here. Let's get this uh, distributor pulled off, check them points, clean them up. You know they're going to need to be clean. Right. And I'll just run a wire straight from here to the battery so we know we've got a straight shot straight to it you know nothing right. nothing interfering it or anything feeding back funky looks like it's just a flat blade or phillips just to get it off there maybe okay Let's see if i can find the screwdriver <coughs> excuse me yeah i see it another hose is already broke off so yeah, Where at? Right, right here. It's not the other end of this one that I broke. Oh, yeah. 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 But that's not going to keep it from cranking. Right. I bet that water pump shot, too. Get this out of the way. Made that one fun to get in. Yeah, they. I start to say that was made on. for a shorty. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that's part of getting to work on these is you get to enjoy the good with the bad. Yeah. Bad with the good, whichever way you want to go with it. Hoping I can get it off without pulling all these wires loose. cap looks pretty good. I mean, uh, plastic on it anyways, right. it definitely needs to be cleaned. The points don't really look terrible down there. But a little bit I can see them. Yeah, it's hard to see them, ain't it? So I'm gonna try to keep those wires. We ain't gotta... Right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cap off. It's hard to see. We may have to see if you can find a little shorty uh, flat blade. Okay. I 
Actually, I got it. Of course, I found one. <laughs> I just wanted to... I know if I sent you hunting for one, I'd be able to get it. The motor's back in there a good little ways on this car. <laughs> I just don't want to drop the screws. No. I need your magnetic screwdriver. There you go. Oh, let me drop it. There yeah. There's a little washer on there. Right, too. yeah. Got it. Could be worse, we could be out in the This is in magnetic. The wet. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Well, man, yeah, there's some there's some wiring stuff on this thing that's a little questionable. Well, I'd rather it be wiring than something sticking out the side of the block. I'm just going to, uh, nah, I'll try to clean them up just a little bit. I'm sure it needs it. Need me to hold that light or you got it? No, nah, I got it. I guess we need to get us a fingernail file, like everybody says. <laughs> the thing is, my fingernail file is usually my front teeth whenever I'm chewing my nails off. <laughs> Ain't nobody want to hear that. <laughs> well, it starts out just getting the dirt out from underneath and then it turns into <laughs> clipping them. What's up? Let me run a wire straight to that cool there. See if we got any fire. That was not going to be long enough, is it? No. Of course not. It never is. I don't know what other. Oh. We might have, let me try this first. Let me go ahead and turn that key over, see if that's sending power to it. Or we can just avoid that question <laughs> and move forward, huh? Yeah. Man, that wire there. Do we have a razor blade or anything? Uh, you can get you one, there's one right here. We should have them laying everywhere. I seem like every time I turn around, I'm getting a new one, so. Yeah. Some kind of a body tag back here. I seen that a while ago. Put it back here so to make sure nobody steal it. Yeah. There's a pretty thin gauge wire here. Hopefully the, this will be the, <laughs> excuse me, be the hardest part of it. As long as we're getting fire to them points, she ain't going to be long. She'll be talking to us. Which with them looking like they had been replaced, uh, you know, definitely since 1985. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Get some fire, then get some gas. We'll yep. We'll move along then, or you can. There you go. All righty. I wish I'd have saved that duct tape I took off. Yeah. Trying to make sure it ain't hitting up, up against nothing. Should be fine there. Oh, should be able to connect those two and 
turn it over and I'll try to reach back there with my head and see if it's sparking. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. Ready? I'm trying to make my eyes find it. I see it there now. There we go. Yep. No. Mm, nothing. Not a real good connection there. Man. Every wire on here is splice. <laughs> not, not real good splices either. No. Let's try it one more time. I'll grab some sandpaper, if not, to clean them points a little better. Here we go. Okay. Oh, they're not opening. They're not opening. Well, Keep them from firing pretty, yeah, pretty well all the time. They may have, so they may have put them in there and didn't didn't, didn't adjust, adjust them. Go ahead and hit it again now that I can kind of watch and see what it looks like. It's, okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me uh, let me try to adjust them a little bit. Oh, it looks like you adjust it right there with a. Uh, I can't really tell what the kind of screw head that is. Almost looks like you can adjust it right there. Well, right there, yeah, probably. Uh, what do I do with that flat blade? Hard to get your hand down in there, that's for sure. Get you some. I don't know what, I don't, I'm not really sure what you adjust that with because it doesn't look like a, an Allen type head. It's just kind of a hole in there. Let me see if I can just move it forward here. We're not connected to the core. No, I've right? got it. I've got them held apart over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a. I think I'm gonna need a little Allen wrench. It's got that adjuster right okay. there. It's pretty small though, but it, it almost don't look like it has any kind of a no no head in it. But I think if we got a little Allen wrench, I can adjust them some. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. Now that we got the motor turning over, it sounds like it's turning over really well. Uh, no problems there, so nothing was locked up. Uh, now we're just trying to get it to get fire, which is going to make the fuel combust and make this engine run. Uh, right now, the, the points is what kind of allows your spark to flow through your distributor cap to your spark plugs. Uh, the points aren't opening and closing, and that's what's going to control your spark. So, uh, having said that they drove it into spot, may be true, but someone's been tinkering with these uh, points, obviously, because they're not opening at all right now. So we're just going to try to adjust it just a little bit, see if we can get them open and closing. Once they spark, uh, hopefully it'll be sending it down to the plugs. We'll get a little fuel in it. I think she's going to run. Find something. It's pretty small. I know which one, so. Uh, Bigger than that. Go for the middle. Go for the, middle. the best. I don't really know how, I guess. I don't know if you. I don't know if you loosen them off, which it. I'm trying to hard, hard to see. Can you hold that light? Yeah. So loosen it off seems to open it up there. I need something to actually set them with, but if we can at least see if they're opening and closing, it'd be better than right. where we're at right now. Let's give that a shot and see if it's see if they're at least opening. It's hard to see if it's moving or not. Got that? Yeah. Got the wires all crossed here. Okay, fix and make some contact. All right. They're opening. I think I seen one little spark right at the end. 
Let me try to go in a little bit more with them. At least they are moving. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Come on, girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's sparking good okay. now. It's sparking very good. It sparked a little bit right there, too. It's not got a very good connection on that coal. I'm sure they're not adjusting where they need to be, but they're right. adjusted good enough to know we're getting spark at them. More spark than nothing, huh? Right, yeah. So looking at this accelerator pump on this. Oh, wow. Carburetor. It's, hopefully they don't. <laughs> pretty rough. What, what's it? left of an accelerator pump? Yeah. Uh, let me see, where did we put that distributor, or the button? Uh, I'm stuck it right there, yeah. Watch them screws are in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd have been about right. Yeah. Taking care of them, I'll pick it up being uncareful and lose them. That's all right, it ain't bad. Did you clean it? No. I, well, there was a cobweb on it, I wiped off, but it wasn't <laughs> going to stop it. Uh, let me try to get it back on there. It wasn't going to run without it. I'm going to have you hold the screws that way. Okay. It's a little easier for me to set it down on there. And I've got a long torso, but just not quite. <laughs> You've got to be an awkwardly shaped person to work on these, I guess. So we've got a circle and a square. It looks like it'll fit in. Which makes it handy. Yeah. Unless you can make a square <laughs> peg fitting around home. Only if I have to. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay. We may have to pull the plugs out. Who knows what they look like. Right. But we'll give it a shot first. Well, that may have been something that may have been the reason why the points were adjusted by somebody else. It may have been the plugs instead of the points. Right. So. And they may have just been in the process of replacing them and never got, got them adjusted out. Either way, they, they're working now. You didn't let them bite you, though. That's... No. Part of the part of the learning experience right there. <laughs> Apparently you've already learned. Yeah. All right. Should have it if I can get this cap back on here. Yeah, that's what that little hole was yeah. there, huh? Allowed you to get to. I don't know if you could or not though, because it's yeah, it's kind of at a weird angle. Weird angle. Ain't it? Yep. Let's see if I can get these back. Closer. I've got this little shorty if you need it. But it yeah, let me far. grab it. Might be too short. Nah, I think it'll work. Yep. Made for it. <laughs> That's got it. Everything looks still plugged in there. Well, we want to try to put a little gas in it and see if she sputters. If we don't, we won't know. <laughs> this place, it's hard to tell on this. This linkage, it's, it's going to give us some issues. We actually try to drive this thing. Right. Let's get some gas. I think I got a little bottle over here squirt in there and see what she sounds see like. See if she takes off. I know it's going to run. All righty. I know she's thirsty. He said, we know we're getting fire down from the cool to the plugs, but if them plugs are are fouled out or rusted up or whatever and they're not sparking then that's not doing us any good right so, but i know this thing's probably pretty 
Pretty dry, dry, up dry, there dry. Too. Ready? Yeah. Get a little more. I heard just a little. It's picking up. Yeah. Ready? All right. Come on. Go ahead. Tried to just for a second there. Okay. Come on. Put my hands right over that. That way, when it backfires yeah. for a second, it yeah. sterilizes them. Yeah. Won't have to worry about any hand sanitizer for. <laughs> All righty. She's wanting to. Hopefully we're still getting a pretty good. Could you tell how much spark it was getting down there at the plug? It was, I mean, it wasn't great, but I didn't know. Didn't also, have a good ground, right. did you? Right. Go ahead and try it. Okay. Come on. Oh. How about <laughs> Sounds smooth. Yeah. That's blow, definitely running. Blow some crud out the exhaust. Did it? Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm going to try to see if I can keep it going. I, I knew she'd run. That's good. Really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we wanted to hear. Yeah. Sounds really good. Yeah. No smoke, huh? Uh-uh. That's cool. I don't know how some stuff can set up that long unmoving and then... You see stuff nowadays, <laughs> it's smoking with 50,000 miles on it. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm pretty sure as long as that fuel pump's still pumping, I think we can hook yep. our little gas tank right here and she'll idle. Because, be I mean, you could tell it was wanting to idle, but I was having trouble right, controlling yeah. it with how much fuel I was putting in there. So, But you can tell that's what they did. Right. They just hooked a tank up there, so I'm assuming that fuel pump should still work. But you would think so. It's been a little while since they did that, too. Right. I say although, that, although they did splice right there, but they did tie it back together, so I don't right. know what the deal yeah. is. Let's go get that tank and uh, see if we can let her idle, walk away walk away from her, listen to her from a distance. All right. That way I can rev it up good and not having to run it off a, a water bottle with a hole in it. All righty. Well, this $1,900 deal just got a whole lot sweeter for us. To hear that old V8 engine crank up and purr as smooth as she did, I mean, it made it worthwhile to buy this car. She sounds really smooth, really tight internally. There's no smoke out the exhaust. Uh, it blew a whole bunch of dirt and cobwebs out of it. But all in all, she's running pretty good. So now we're going to try to hook up a temporary gas tank up to it to allow the fuel to pump up, to actually hear it idle, to be able to rev the carburetor better. Uh, all in all, hearing it running, just just really makes me itch to get this thing on the road. I mean, it's been about uh, 34 years since this car has been actually registered and driven on the highway. So we'd love to see it out on the road again. Maybe she'll at least make it to the car wash for us. Okay. She is. I think I'm going to do away with this old hose I got right here because it's kind of dry and oh, yeah. <laughs> you can tell something's kinda not bad. closed up the hole in it anyway. So. It's pretty easy to get at this spot right here, okay. I think. So do I need to take this filter Yeah, off we won't straight? need that filter. Okay. Uh, we could possibly put it up here, but we know that gas is clean. Right. So. Yep. No problem. As long as I can get it to pull loose. There we go. Well, it wasn't on there very far anyways. <laughs> You got a hose clamp or are we going to... Yeah, I've got a got hose one. clamp, yep. Uh, let's see if I can... 
just getting it to go where you want it to go. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's a way I can run it. Where do they have it? Let me pull this one back out of here. I can't believe how smooth it sounds. I know it, yeah, it sounded really good. You could tell I got them points adjusted perfect, huh? Perfect. <laughs> it actually sounds better than my Dodge. Oh yeah, that don't take much. <laughs> that don't take much at all. It says as long as that fuel pump is still willing to cooperate. Right. We'll have to keep her going long enough to pump up to it. Any good way of setting it? We can take her away here. At least it does have a... Comes in handy not having that grill now, don't it? It sure does. <laughs> Surely they didn't take it out to... I can't imagine. ...to put some kind of a tank here, but... Got any fuel in it? Yeah, it's got a little bit, enough to... Pump up. ...to try it out, yeah. It ain't enough to go anywhere in it, but... Um, let's see if we can get it to pump it up there then. I'll have to keep it running with this. Make sure I don't get my wires crossed here. Get your wires crossed? Yep. You ready? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Can you see if it's bubbling in there whenever? I... Yeah, as soon as I. You ready? Yep. Lost our light, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> almost lost me. our gas, too. I don't think it's pumping yet, is it? I don't think so. Let me take it loose right up here and see if we can get it to come out somewhere. Could be the floats yeah, hung. Yeah, could be the floats hung on it and it's already getting gas up there. Nope, it's dry as a bone. Siphon it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it again. It should have already pumped up there. Like I said, I can feel that it's uh, it's pumping there. It's just not pumping any fuel, is it? We ain't got much in there. Let me get a little bit more All gas. Right. I'm gonna rewrap this wire so I don't <coughs> have to keep looking at it. I sucked in a bug or something while ago. Yeah, you think we need to uh, to prime that pump, maybe? Yeah, I don't know if you could just kind of like flip it. Yep. There's something to get down there because that diaphragm thing may be dry down in there and just needs something to wet its whistle. I hear something. Yeah. 
takes a high level of concentration to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back on because I don't want it squirting all <laughs> on me everywhere. And their hoses are just too small. I don't I'm know. trying to do it so you didn't have to use many. I don't know clamps. how they had that even working, honestly. It doesn't go on there very good at all. We're gonna want to replace that before it pops loose and fuel spraying everywhere. Yeah. And the hose a, clamp stripped out. Have us a fireball under the hood. Uh, let's give it a shot. not wanting to pump for some reason. Yes, I don't know if it's fuel pump or... Right, it's like we keep losing the pumping on it. I guess we could, we could do a gravity feed real quick and check it out. Yeah, let's try it one more time. I think we kind of got a faulty fuel pump. I think so. You're probably right. They tr probably tried to pump it there and then ended up coming off this and just gravity feeding it into it. So yeah, let's just move our tank up to here. See if that is, is the case. Right. You know, we know if we're gravity feeding and it's still not working, we're gonna have to dig into this and figure right. out what's, what's causing it to keep from going in there. But. It's loose there too. Could be part of it too. It but you would think it would have just leak sprayed. out there. Yeah. But you know it's going to be leaking out there when it's when it's finally getting the gas to that point. Wish we had a little little extra electric fuel pump we could run. Right. You done? Yeah, I'm like, sure grab that clamp so we don't lose it. Yeah, I'm afraid though, once we gravity feed it here, it's just it's gonna... It's just gonna flood it. I mean, not flood it, but pour out the... Yeah. It should be fine. Yeah. I guess we'll know as soon as I tilt this. Yeah, it'll either go into the bowl or it'll leak out right all out through there. And I'm gonna say it's gonna leak out all right through there. There it goes. Well. I don't know how it's not. <laughs> Let's give that a shot. Wires again. Something that's been sitting that long. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I believe you called it right. I think yeah. they I think they were you trying to run it off the fuel pump and it was 
not give working, them issues, giving yeah. them issues, yeah, and they just kind of splice right through there and gravity feed it there. The only thing is, it's going to make it a little harder for us to find <laughs> a place to put the tank, but it'll still get it down the road. Yep. I have to put a roof rack on top <laughs> of it or we get the right fuel pressure we need. Yep. Uh, well, we've heard a rattle, we've heard a rev. I guess the only thing we haven't figured out is whether or not if it'll move in gear and stuff. That's right. But I know we've got some... Got some tire issues first. We've got some tire issues we're going to have to mess with. Those two tires over there were aired up. I noticed this one here's went flat. These ones just ain't going <laughs> to hold there. No, they... they I don't know if we'd have any. They're probably 15s, I'm assuming. I would bet. Surely so. No, 14s. <laughs> I highly doubt we got any 14s, but... Uh, we might. Nah, probably not. We might, but... We I might. We can check out there in the other shop and see. If anything, we might even have, like, some... Just some different wheels, you know, wheels and yeah. tires, 15s, whatever can go on there. Just right. something that'll hold air better than me sticking my, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my true, hand yeah. up inside the sidewall. Yeah. I guess I'll run out there and check and see what we got. You know, I'll try to hang on to anything that's that's worth maybe using again. <laughs> I'll run out there and see if we got anything okay. we can put on there and be better than what we got. Right. Yeah, it looks like we're in luck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know what in the world would have had 14s we kept these things off of, but they're a little dry themselves, but they'll definitely should be better yeah. than what we got for yeah. sure Can't be this one's worse. a little bigger than the than that one i think so we'll probably throw it on the back but yeah. both 14s i said i have no clue why we would have had them but no probably something you held on to <laughs> <laughs> i probably told you to throw it away and you stuck them out there in the shed <laughs> which pay off today i guess yeah i'll grab a jack let's go ahead and get them off here and it's going to be kind of a pain but we can get different tires later on. Right. Just kind of get this on there, make it a roller again. Right. I'm going to give it a little square to penetrate and all. All right. Can try the front one first, or? It doesn't matter. I just. I guess they both got to be closest done. closest one to me. something I can get up underneath here. Yeah, you can tell that one there just set flat. The for same a long time. spot yep. for a long time. I guess I'll see if we can, how hard it is to break these loose before I get it up too high. get up underneath there a little better. Okay, to go up, you think? I think so. All right. Different size? No, <laughs> that came off with it. I didn't, I didn't realize it came off. That was easy enough. Almost too easy. I guarantee you it's going to be the hardest part of this. It's going to be fighting that junky tire machine. Yeah. <laughs> We never introduced our our tire machine on the show till today, and you'll probably see why. Uh, this thing is makeshift. It's rigged up. It's stripped out here. Uh, it only gets us by. So that's what we're trying to do today: is just get this uh, bead broke loose here. Heck, it, sometimes it's easier once we get the bead broke loose just to do it by hand. But all in all, uh, this is our tire machine, and it, it gets us out of a spot. <laughs>
don't think these were much better than what we had, but no. at least they are holding air now. Shame, I think it was harder getting tires, these old tires <laughs> mounted, than getting the car up and running. Do I need to go up? Uh, let me see if I can fit it in between there. That axle's gonna have to drop down to fit in between the... Okay, I'm gonna come down some then. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. That should be good. There we go. Like a glove. Yeah, you can go make up now. <clears throat> right there. Got it. I guess we're getting pretty close to getting to the point to see if transmission will engage and everything on it. Yeah, yeah. We want to put it on some jack stands and... Uh... That might be a pretty good idea since how we, we ain't got no brakes. Just kind of get it up in the air and I can shift it in through the gears and okay. see what it does. Uh, I got a red jack stand over here. I've got a red one over here. All right. Probably go ahead and go on up with it a little bit more. I'll let you jack it up and I'll get this out from under here. Okay. Probably just get them up underneath the axle there. How many notches you got? Uh, one, two, three, four full ones. Okay. okay. Come down. Look okay? Looks good to me. Should work. Well, we're gonna try to crank it up. See if it'll go in gear and yeah. forget about that linkage. We might need a we might have to find a spring once we actually try to drive it to keep it from just revving up right. <laughs> all the way. We go to drive it and I give it a little gas and it goes a little faster than what I'm wanting it to. Because there's not much to anything there to hold it backwards. Yeah. But we can kind of just, let's just go ahead and try it out real quick to see, make sure the transmission's even okay. moving. I don't think the brakes, the brakes didn't seem like they were locked up or anything because, I mean, they drug on the trailer just fine. Right. So, okay. should be good to go. We've got it in park now. Fuels. We got fuel, we got battery. She should crank. We may need to address this, this belt issue and try to at least get some water in it before we get too far. Right. I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Get it to idle down a little bit. We got four for sure. <laughs> Sounds like there's some stuff broke loose in here. <laughs> I think it's got rocks or something inside this hubcap. Probably worth popping it off just to make sure Probably it sure. ain't lug nuts. <laughs> was definitely going forward. I didn't try reverse because it was spinning so fast. We got something that's a little bit bigger and pry with. Yes, sir. Might be able to make this work. Yeah, I got it. Of course, I got this one. <laughs> yeah, it was just dirt daubers. Oh, wow, maybe. <laughs> There's three of them missing there. 
So I had two lug nuts. Guess that's better than none. We can always try to find one real quick. Yeah. I hate to ride on it with just two, at least get, you know, th the three make the triangle yeah. out of it. I think I'm going steal one from one of the other ones, possibly. How in the world did they get up in there? <laughs> Through the little hole there, I guess, for yeah. the valve stem. I guess that made them a neat little home. I say let's get a get a lug nut on there. We know we got it forward if we got to push it out the door. <laughs> I bet we got reverse too. Like I said, it was just idled right, up so yeah. high, I didn't want to slam it in reverse. I say let's get a lug nut on there, get it kind of aimed towards the door a little bit more and let her see we'll some Cross sun. our fingers. And <laughs> yeah, let her see some sunshine. Cool. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to see if I can find a lug nut. All righty. That's got me feeling safer at least <laughs> on that part. Kind of forgot about it. I guess we need to try to see if we can find a belt to put on this water pump though. Yeah. Because no further than we're going, it ain't going to warm up that much anyways, but it'd be nice to know we put a little water in it and uh, at least know that water pump's trying to turn over. Yeah. We're going to have to do something though on that that heater hose where it's rotted away. I think we've got some old hose we can, surely we can just loop it back into it. Yeah, itself. loop it from the intake there down over to the water pump. But I don't know if we're gonna have a belt like that. We may have to run to the parts store real quick and grab a belt for it. I'll see what we got and uh, see if you can't find a hose or something that'll run there. Just like I said, loop it okay. from the intake just back into the water pump. Alrighty. When we first purchased this old car, we got it back to the shop and found out it was missing the belt. Uh, that's going to run the generator, the water pump, it also ran the power steering that was based on the back of the generator there. Uh, so we didn't have any kind of belt, ran to town, luckily we found a belt I believe is going to work for this car. We just want to put some water in it, have this belt on there where we know that the water pump's at least trying to circulate some of this water through the car. Uh, we're not driving the car very far at all, just a couple blocks up the road. Just something where we can say, Hey, we drove it to the car wash, washed some of this old dirt off of it so we can actually see what we've got going on here. Uh, but all in all, she sounds to be running really good. Uh, we've got some tires on it now. They're at least holding there. It's rolling. It's shifting in the gear. Uh, before long, you're going to see this old girl going down the road. Hopefully this thing will work. It looks too long, but maybe not. Yeah. Oh, generator's pretty good ways away from everything, though. Get it on that crank. So at least the water pump is is spinning. Right. It's not like we know it's locked up or anything. Oh. I think it'll work. Mm -hmm. We've got slack there. Maybe about a half half inch, maybe. I had, had one here earlier, I thought. It was. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. At least there's. At least it was longer and not shorter because right, it, yeah. would've, it wouldn't have shortened down much more. Get it on the head there, down there. That's what we're trying to do. Make sure I'm on everything. Cool. I don't, I don't want to get it too tight, but I don't want it to. Oop. Man, if only newer stuff was that That's easy. That's right here. Newer stuff you got to pull the intake off of to change the spark plugs on some stuff. <laughs> That's something you can do on the side of the road for sure. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess we, I mean, obviously we know we got a bad hose right there. Let's go ahead and try to get that replaced and maybe we've got enough we can loop back into it right there. Right. Losing all of our tools. What little tools we got. I think I took that hose clamp off earlier. <clears throat> yeah, it is right here.
<clears throat> say a flat blade. Yeah, there's one there. Just like that. Let me try to go ahead and get this other one off too real quick. So I'll just feel more comfortable at least knowing we've got some water in, in the block and stuff. Ugh. Kinda rusty, ain't it? Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that ain't all stopped up. Kinda looks like it is, don't it? It's pretty bad, but it needs to be flushed out. Right. Get all the way to the <clears throat> We have to get like a fill up something with a pointed head yeah. rather than that flat. It is stopped now. up pretty solid. Well, hopefully at least it'll allow it to flow through right. everything else. There it goes. Hope that hose is going to be big enough. Ain't the best hole in the world, but it is a hole. Uh, this area eh, won't matter. I hope that in right there so I don't slap you with it. <laughs> Very demanding. Too small, huh? <clears throat> Looks like it, but it looks close to the. I think that's the only thing we got around here. Yeah, there it goes. That works just right. Let's see if I can put this slide up here. We want to try to, I don't know how much slack to cut off of this. I don't want it to kink. Yeah. Yeah, may just leave it like that for now, honestly. Probably that's best, gonna, yeah. It's going to keep it from kinking up. I still say if you cut off much, it is going to kink. It's just going to be a temporary fix to keep us from having major issues later. Go on there. On the top side, good. Make sure we're not up against the stinking manifold, though. There we go. How should I get rid of this runny nose? I'm afraid it's gonna drift right in the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last fluid we got put in it. It'll look like antifreeze. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, see if I can find a jug, start dumping some water in it. Okay. See if it's going all on the floor or if it's gonna hold a little bit. Hopefully we don't end up having more under the car than <laughs> in the car. Right. 
I'll let you look for spew holes. Water signs. Nothing? Nothing yet. Still nothing, huh? Still nothing. She's still taking it. Did you get that thin water or thick water? <laughs> it's that good thick bagoda water. Oh yeah. That's what helps my beard grow so well. <laughs> Surely not, just one gallon and it's seeing it at the top. I know the radiator's gonna hold a lot more than that. You would think so. I guess it could have had had some in had it. some in it. And I think it's just it's taking it a little while to take it all in. It's probably thinking, what in the world is going yeah. on here? I've been dehydrated for too long. We can crank it up and see if we can see it circulating or not. Right. Hopefully we will. But the quicker I force it in, the quicker it goes somewhere though. <laughs> Probably feeding in from the top of the block. Yeah, it may be. Sure it probably is. Yeah, let's go ahead and crank it up and see if we can see it circulating. I don't know where I put that radiator cap. It's right there on top of that oh, yeah. wire thing. Let me make sure I did get that put back in park. <laughs> I guess we're on jack stands, but still I hate for it to fall off. And it wouldn't. Huh. That Shit. linkage is a little temperamental. Yeah, I got it. I want to watch out of the way. Ain't no telling what's going to sling off now that that water pump's spinning. True. Ready? Yep. Guess I need to see if it's circulating. I forgot. You hear a little bit of a scream from that water pump, yeah. but not near what I, I was thinking it was going to be. It's definitely circulating and good. Good. I'll have to go grab a little bit more water, but other than that, I guess make sure we ain't got no... You said it's leaking a little bit at the radiator? I just seen one little old drip and then it quit. Could have been some I even hey, It may have been. I see right there where it kind of... There's like three little spots up under... Yeah, I see it drip, drip, but... It's hard to say if it's just something I've overspilled. I think we're definitely going to be okay on it. Let me go grab a little bit more water, top it off. Let's get her. Well, I, <laughs> I'm too excited to get it outside on the road. We got to find a spot for our battery. We got to find a spot for our gas tank. And we got to make a way I can kill it inside the car in case <laughs> of <Yeah>. emergency. <laughs> So I'll probably check this wire and see, you know, we were having dash lights come on, so there's, right. there's some power at the, at the switch there. So if I can hook that cool back into that where I can use that to kill it, we can crank it up front here. I just want to be able to kill it. Right. <laughs> I'll grab some water, see if maybe we can make that battery work in there. And yeah, we'll go from there, <laughs> see what else pops up. Okay. I'm going to gather tools off of it. It did take a big drink, didn't it? Yeah. I'm getting it everywhere, too. Well, that disguises the leaks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
that way. We can just blame it on me being very sloppy on pouring it in there. Um, yeah, I don't know if that battery chai is going to hold that battery. Do you want this back on top of there? Or do you uh, no, to not right now. Yeah, we'll just set the breather to the side. Hasn't even ran long enough for the choke to really open up the way, you know, it's got it choked out, right. so it's kind of revved up right now. I wish we had a little board or something I could put. I don't know if we've got anything that short without having to cut something. Let's see. Uh, well, that two by six right there, it's going to be a little long, but it might work. This is, this is how custom with a K come about. <laughs> oh yeah, should work as long as they don't put the battery up too tall. Uh, I want to figure that out a little different on that. The bad thing is we've got our, let me switch this battery around so our side post ain't up against the it might be too tall, huh? Kind of looks like it's going to be. Looks like it. <laughs> Man, just lay it on its side. <laughs> uh, I can't really tell if that's going to be too high or not. I'm afraid it will be. There we go. Broke the battery case, our handle. Okay. About as rigged as we can get it right now. I got this wire wrapped around everything. Is this the wire that was running to the... Starter. Starter? I hate the way it's kind of... We'll just, we'll have to crank it underneath the hood, but like I said. Just so you can kill it. Let me wire this coil back in for where they had it again, now that we know our points are, you know, we're getting fire and everything. Right. <coughs> it may have been getting juice to begin with. Just the points weren't opening. Uh, I remember which one it was. There's a screen one right here. All right. Let's try it and see what we got. Keep these cables out of the way of everything. All them extra hoses kind of. Right. Man, what a contraption. We're going to have to get some zip ties and put here and there. Bungee strap. Everything a person shouldn't use on a vehicle. <laughs> If you want to turn the key over, that's just an extra wire now. Just turn the key to on. Okay. Got it? Yep. Yep, other than it idling sky high, at least I can yeah. kill it in there now. We may just kind of let it warm up some enough to uh, let that choke open. But if that choke's even gonna open, it's like a, 
vac heat vacuum. Yeah, oh, yeah, it ain't hooked to nothing. Up. So, yeah, that's going to be an issue right there. We may have to actually kind of get something to wire it to keep it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all kinds of janky, ain't it? Mm-hmm. I think our hood will shut. Gotta figure out a way to keep it. Yeah, keep wired everything out. set and still. Said maybe try to figure out a way to wire this choke. About to lose our About light, to lose ain't our we? Light. Yeah, let's wire that choke open. And I can let it warm up. You know, okay. it'll be a little cold at first, but I'd rather know that than it revving up real high. Figure anything? Yeah, I think I've just about got it adjusted here so that it'll hold itself open. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that'll work just as well, huh? Right. Yep. I'm just trying to rig it up as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, this car has probably been rigged the most out of anything we've tinkered with in a, in a while. Right. But, of course, we're just kind of seeing to get her down the road, and we'll come back and button everything up. I don't really know what the plans will be on it. I mean, we may, may just flip it. Be a good car to flip. I right. mean, we're in it right in the money, so True. she sounds good. It'd be I mean, a good good start for somebody. Yeah, too. for sure. I guess if you want to go ahead and try to turn the turn it over there, I'll get inside there where I can kill it, give it gas. Yeah. See how she idles now. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. All right. Rough nature, just cold because that choke's wide open. I wanted to see if I could keep it going. Right. Uh, we may have to just try to adjust it back just a little bit just more. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's getting too much air now. Don't need much though. Was you having to hold your hand over it pretty good? Not bad. I mean, I'm letting quite a bit of air go in between my fingers. It's just not warmed up enough. Close back now, huh? There's something that's all kinds of messed right. up right there, ain't there? Yep. Well, we may just have to let it warm up. Because it ain't wanting to come back. Oh, there it goes. Maybe right in there? I don't know if that's going to hold it, huh? Hold it or not, but. It seems to be. Snug back. We might have to go a little bit more, but we'll give that a shot. I am ready whenever you are. Okay, here we go. All right. It's a lot better. Yeah. Still kind of got it. It ain't wanting to idle, but it'll warm up though, and it'll yeah. get better. Sounds good. Yeah. Still no smoke. Yeah. Ain't gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Once it warms up a little bit, it'll start to idle. But I'm pretty accustomed to playing with that foot pedal. <laughs> you think that tank's going to work right there? I think so. Uh, I think Hopefully once we get it, it kind of in there, it's kind of held in place where it can't do anything. Yeah, if it don't pinch that hose down, it's going to be pretty close. Let's see if it... 
There's kind of like a little low spot yeah, there, right, though. Right in that little old corner there. Of course, we'll have to have you crank it and then. Looks okay, huh? Looks okay. I mean, it's slightly in it, but I mean, it's. I, yeah, think, I think, think that'll work. Well, do we want to try to get it up underneath the, or get those rollers back up underneath? Yeah, line it up so that we got something inside the wall to head for. Yeah. Get it off these rollers and aim for fresh air. I think she's going to do pretty good. Get it over there and get some of this dust that's been on there for who knows how long. Hey, here we go. We're ready. Break back into this door. If anything happens to me, you can have my collection of cars. Oh, your mom will be glad to hear that. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Here we go. She acts like she's flooded. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Just die. That works too. That's right. Yeah. Right Coaster. where she wanted to be. <laughs> Coaster on into place. Might have to have you let me out. Okay. I got the key here. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. My eyes are just here. Let me out of this death trap. <laughs> Well, we were able to make our first initial test run in this 1957 Bel Air. When we first found it, I absolutely fell in love with it. It definitely has a great set of bones to it. And to know that she's up and running now, I mean, I couldn't be happier. This old V8 motor didn't take a whole lot of work to get her up and purring again. Uh, the points weren't open and closing the way they should, so we were losing spark there. Uh, once we got them sparking and uh, got a little fuel to the carburetor, she fired right up. Uh, now, we had to use our trustworthy 
a gas tank up there that's just gravity feeding the fuel down to the carburetor because we was having just a little bit of fuel pump issues. Uh, all in all, we basically did the bare bones minimum of getting this car moving down the road on its own power. Uh, we made it to the car wash. We're just going to knock some of this dust off of it. Uh, this car is a perfect candidate for it to be just one of the cars we flip around the shop. So a lot of times we'll buy these cars, we'll get them up and running. Of course, we'll come back and button up all the stuff up underneath the hood that we kind of temporary for right now. Uh, but once we get it cleaned up, maybe put some new tires on it, get it where it's rolling, stopping, running good, uh, maybe we can pass it on to another buyer who's looking for this car. When the sun goes down, when the sun goes down, when the sun goes down.